As we continue to build AI to help make the world better, to help make our lives easier, we also have um, maybe something that sounds counterintuitive. A New Zealand artificial intelligence company is building the angriest robot in the world. What is happening is this company is building a, a robot that is able to sense anger and also uh, express anger nice. um, to help with angry customers over the phone, basically. <laughs> uh, but in this process, we have created a robot that expresses anger toward people. Yeah. That's kind of scary. Two things I've took from this. I'm already writing the script for the movie that I'm going to make out of this. Don't worry, you can Is it called it. Ex Machina? Yeah, it might, it might be. <laughs> and two, I want to see if this angry robot can, re, can, can voice YouTube troll comments. Oh my gosh. Imagine that. Well, the machine would break. It's trying to resp help respond to these customers who are angry over the phone. So in order to understand them, it has to, you know, work on it, try to be able to, un well, it's, it's an easy response to understand. Uh, Dr. Stuart Armstrong, a research fellow at the Future of Humanity Institute at Oxford University, uh, says it's a relatively easy uh, expression to replicate in robots. And, you know, people might be scared, but maybe they shouldn't be. Uh, let's take a look at what he has to say about that. Why would we be afraid of a human who's angry? Well, because they might do something stupid and lash out. Robots are not going to start punching the person at the end of the phone or spreading angry messages on Twitter. They're not going to do a whole host of things that you wouldn't expect a genuinely angry person to do unless it has been programmed to do that. And that's how you can tell that their anger is purely situational. A sign that a robot has feeling is if they act in a way that we would expect a human to do, but they aren't programmed for. So that's interesting. So what, basically what he is saying, the doctor is saying, is you shouldn't be scared of an, ang an angry seeming robot because it actually hasn't been programmed for anger. What you should really be scared of is a robot that is cold and has no expression <laughs> of anger at all. Is that all. how iRobot started? Is that, or because he might not have seen iRobot here because I was pretty petrified of robots mm -hmm. after that movie. They acted on feeling, definitely. Well, because we, we have a response to on how to handle angry people. But, yep. you know, if you handle an angry robot, it would be, or a robot that is acting angrily, it would be a different story. The doctor goes on to say, everything in our evolutionary background prepares us to deal with angry entities and knowing whether or not to trust them. If we get a robot that's angry in the classically human sense, we know so much more about how to deal with it than a robot that does not exhibit anger of any sort, but may have goals that are very dangerous. So it's just basically saying watch out for that quiet person yeah, in the room who doesn't the vent quiet their one. anger. Watch They're out the them. crazy one. Yeah. But as, as I said, it would be hilarious if you've seen them respond to some of the YouTube comments that I have received. So I would like to see this you robot respond to being called a smudge ginger prick. Wow. Um, or a smudge Scottish I don't else. even know what that means. I, I, I just kind of took it as perhaps a compliment. You know yeah, what? I like, I like you, Francis. <laughs> I think you're a good dude. And Thanks. you know what? Sometimes people express themselves in a way that doesn't reflect their true feelings, and it's in the moment. But that's what that's robots another, are for. Those are other videos all together on this channel <laughs> um, about trolling and what have you. Yeah. But it's interesting to have this program of anger in, yeah. in a robot, or expression of anger. It's not a genuine anger sensation, and if a robot were to act angrily, we wouldn't know what to do with it, because Intelligence itself, this is another quote from the doctor, has allowed us to dominate the planet, so potentially higher intelligence might lead to much higher power. So they would express their anger, or their form of anger, in a way that is beyond what we would be able to deal with. They would supplant us as the dominant force. Um, so how, how do we program robots that are able to help in these situations with anger, but in a way that we are not scared of them at all. I don't, I mean, it's just, it's way above my head in terms of intelligence level. I'm already getting a bit of a headache. <laughs> I was really bad at math. But if it's someone who's, doing any math. if it's someone who's programming <laughs> the robot to do it, it's not based on that person who's, on the feelings of that person then who's programming the robot? No, it's not like you're having a child and you're teaching it nurture. <laughs> you, you have to specifically program it in there. Um, but one option would be to specify and code human values, which is not easy to do. Like, for instance, we've looked at a robot before and we tried to uh, quantify uh, humor to okay. make a, a robot that is funny and it, it turned out horrifyingly. <laughs> it did not work, not in a way that I found funny. It was actually very creepy uh, to see that, that code, codifying Is there a video humor. of this? I would love oh, to see yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dr. Armstrong uh, says to uh, his idea is to program it for a reduced impact, 
which is so it doesn't like go jump to conclusions like you know like oh well there. I've cleaned I've done the surgery on this person's leg to remove the tumor now I must remove the next tumor the whole leg and chop <laughs> off the leg so it's it's more to have reduced uh, goals and and duties so it doesn't like you know be like oh well the house is clean but these humans keep making the mess well if we kill the humans the house will be totally clean sounds perfect like, sounds like you've got a great idea for a movie right there oh, and I both think of those comments movies. I think that's a, yeah it has been movies these, that's in the base of all of them these sound a lot like uh, Ray Bradbury stories to me as yeah. well uh, excellent writer go read his works not related to the story at all uh, but it's <laughs> interesting to see where this AI is going yeah. and of course we I mean, when we, we talk about AI, we have stories about Elon Musk and Bill Gates going, hey, AI is freaky, we got to lay off. Yeah. And then uh, um, people on the other side saying, no, AI is the way we got to go. We're just, we have to relegate it to more menial tasks than universal, like take over, override our systems tasks yeah. uh, to avoid that. So it's an interesting concept to, to uh, talk about and we always get to the point of fear when we talk about this concept. Yeah, and if there's one thing that you want to do is you want to test, if you're going to test out a robot and artificial intelligence, you test out with how, with program it to deal with anger so you start with the worst possible example of what it could deal with first and work your way back. I, I, I am interested to see the YouTube comment uh, robot but this is, this is for <laughs> customer service YouTube where comment. people tend to be kind of irate. Um, yes. Audience, what do you think of making an angry robot and any potential it might have uh, beyond or below what people seem to fear. Let us know below in the comments and please be sure to subscribe for more AI news.